go on, just a hint. Right, yeah. yeah, right, so um, so where can you let us know then? Oh, right, yeah. No, 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 of course I can wait. Yeah, great. Okay, cheers, bye. Anything? No. Burger hasn't made his mind up yet. He says he's seen about a million people for the jobs. Well, you've got no chance, eh? There's more than you'll ever have. Uh, that's where you're wrong. I've got more chance than the two of you put together. I suppose it's a job for me, is it? No. Don't listen to him, no. I just always talked a good life. Shame he never lived it. Well, think what you like. I'm going places. Yeah, and maybe sooner than you think. All right, lads. Couldn't be better. What can I get you? We're on duty. Any chance of a quick word then? Make it a long one if you like. We've got nothing to hide, have we, lads? Ah, not me. I'm as honest as the day's long. Good. I think we'll start with you then, shall we, sir? Richard Cole. Yeah? Only routine, sir. And you are? Sandy Kapoor. And you were in the Vic on the night of the fire? Yeah, that's right. Do you remember how long Frank Butcher was in there? Don't know. But I can't see someone I take much notice of. Oh? <laughs> We heard he was pretty popular around here. Yeah, if you like listening to boring anecdotes about the motor trade, me, you have to further listen to something else. I don't know why you're bothering, really. I mean, Frank's no criminal. You'd be better off spending your time trying to catch real villains. Well, we'll be the judge of that, thank you, Mr. Kapoor. Uh, Frank wasn't particularly, um, I don't know, how should we say it, uh, pleasant about you. Do you have any reason for that? Envy. Probably. And why should he be envious of you? Oh, I thought that'd be obvious. Not immediately. Well, his time's almost past, isn't it? And what's he ended up with? An overbearing peroxide vision of distinct on love with us. His wife, you mean? You said it, not me. Oh, you're a bit of a draw with the ladies, are you? Well, maybe. <laughs> and how about Frank? Does he uh, like the women as well? well? It doesn't matter if he does or he doesn't. Either way, he can't afford them. You were under the impression he was doing all right for himself. Ah, some people's standards are lower than others. How do you mean exactly? Ah, it's bankrupt, isn't it? No, I reckon he's just tight myself. Indeed. Bankrupt, you see? I don't, sir, don't talk about that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of gossip flying around there. None of it's ever true. No, of course it isn't. <laughs> I'll get that my way. Good lad, good lad, thank you. While you're getting there, I'm going to have me another little sniff down. Little sniff down. Um, looks like you got company, Frank. What is it with you lot? I've already asked your questions five times over. We've just been in touch with our base, sir. Well, whoopsie do. Mr. Butcher, we'd like you to come down to the station with us. We're arresting you on suspicion of manslaughter and also for suspected conspiracy to defraud an insurance company. You don't have to say anything, but anything you do say may be used in evidence against you. We visit the firefighters at Blackwall Fire Station in London's Burning, next, here on Drama.